Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss what how to convert a string to character array using csof.net. So this code that I already written to save some time. So here I am using uh, for each and uh, the second way I am going to use for. So this is the first way we can here convert to any a string to or character array. So here you can see a string or type st string type variable str that I have taken and initialize with zb. You can initialize give any kind of four values at this place and your char array a double r. Now a double r is the array char type and your str. So str is the uh, variable of uh, a string. Now str uh, so with the help of str we can call to char array so this is the built in method so with the help of this to char array we can convert any uh, string to character very easily now if you take the cursor on the to char array here you can see copies the character in this instance to an unicate character and here you can get this all details return or unicate character array whose element or in the individual character for of this instance so this is about two char array so with this help we can easily convert a string to a uh, char character array now here after printing a string or str values so this value that print now here after conversing data time so it will all get data time so get time so with the help of get time we can uh, easily analyze what kind of for uh, a double r so if you take the cursor on a double r you can see local variable char and uh, here after all characters now here for each loop that i'm using so here a double r values so here a double r this all values it come inside a double r now here after in so ch so this is the cat now one by one a double r value that go to ch and here that uh, print ch value now if you run this code here you can uh, get the output so here you can see the output of this program so here you can see the uh, string or zv this or displaying now after conversion data type a double or get type so get type it's so uh, displaying system dot char a double or char array so here it's uh, getting the type of for uh, data type. now here after all character in the array so this all character zb so it's a uh, displaying displays now a double or one by one that go to ch and here ch value one by one it's a uh, printing so this is the first way we can convert a string to char array now hereafter i am going to mark this comment and now i am going to omit uncomment to the, the next part so the programming concept to you should build logic are important so sometimes we should use a for each sometimes we should use for loop now here you can see a string str variable i have taken initialized with take now char a double r again to char array i have taken now here the data type we can easily get a double r data type so it will display system char array now the characters are so here i will start from zero and here a double r length so a double r here str value go to a double r total characters are 4 so here this value is now come to 4 so here 0 less than 4 condition is to that go inside so a double r 0 index t is there t go to ch now print ch i increase 1 1 less than 4 condition true a double r 1 position value e e go to ch now e print here after 0 1 2 2 less than 4 condition 2 a double r 2 position c is there so c go to ch c print here after i is now 3 3 less than 4 condition true a double r 3 position h is there 
so h go to ch and h print now you can uh, check the output so here console cmd so here you can see the output of this so second program here the daytime system cal git times it's so displaying now characters are this character tch so with the help of uh, two char array we can easily or uh, convert any string to character array now here after the next is let's comment uh, and uh, there is uh, one important point about uh, two char array i'm going to discuss now if you take the cursor on two char array here you can see one plus one you can uh, give uh, two index so if you want to print the value from the one index so one index is there so give one now here one two three so if you want to uh, display edd so let's give uh, three so it will start from the one index and end with uh, three now here you can see two char uh, start index and length so total length here it uh, display so three length it's a uh, this till three length it will or uh, display the output now here you can uh, see this output now let's uh, make that bigger here you can see e double d it's a display so this the uh, things about to uh, uh, to care array sometimes so uh, what happen in a string there are uh, unexpected or uh, uh, some in teaser decimal and uh, a special character are there so you can uh, use uh, this concept to uh, start from any kind of index and remove unexpected or uh, a special character suppose this position at the rate is there so if you don't want to display at the rate so one index is to start so one index z is there so it will count total so i will not display total uh, length uh, 4 okay so 1 to 4 that uh, or display so here you can see z e double d it's a display here you can see z e double d a special character you can remove with the help of for uh, this or uh, a start index and length property so this the two way we can convert to any a string to character array in csr.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you